All right, so I got Johnny back to the field here. We just finished the previous farm blog, which was like part one of this. And I, we went to eat our dinner quick, and then we came back out here. It's nearing the end of the day, coming into the dark, but we still have quite a few hours till around nine, so we have probably four more hours of work time we can use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go bale the neighbor's field that we helped harvest. He said he doesn't need straw, but we asked if we could just bale it and then take it off of his hands for free. So we're gonna do that for him. Plus it helps him out with the not having to cultivate that up in the spring. So I'm gonna head up to the farm here, get the baler hooked up, and I'll see you guys over at his field. Alright, so I got here to the field, made sure all the stuff in the baler is all good, made sure all the stuff is good on the tractor, and we're going to get started on this field. So make sure we drop that, and we're going to get going on this. Close eye on this. I think it's a little too cool. Overfilled it a bit. That right there is good. Field on the straw is really good, actually. Very impressed with it. He does put a lot of fertilizer in his fields, a lot of chemicals to help it yield better. We try to go as organic as we can, but it's probably not the most affordable option. They're not really affordable, but more of economical. So I'm going to throw the drone up here. I'm going to do a little time lapse of this, working on bailing up this straw. So enjoy the time lapse. So, I got the chopper on the back of the pickup here. We finished, Johnny finished the field while I was bailing, so I took a break from bailing. So, I loaded up our pressure washer into the back of the Chevy here, and tomorrow morning I'm going to wash all the vehicles off up at the house so I don't have to move them a ton. And I'm going to grab the one wagon here. Just back up to it. Turn it around this corner. Need a better, straighter shot at it. Not really good there. Gotta go way over that way more. Look, 
Let me forget to be close. Just need to go back up a little more. Okay, pull ahead. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back to Dick Johnson's farm and hey Johnny, there on the CV. Go ahead. You got the other wagon unloaded. I'm in the process of unloading it right now. Okay, I'll meet you over there. Do you want me to bring the wagon over here? Over there? Do you want me to unhook it in the yard for you to take over there? No, you can bring it. Okay. I'll just stay there. So I'm gonna head over here and get this all unhooked, and I'll put the camera back on for you guys once I get that done. Alright, so that took a little longer than I expected. I did run into Nick there, and I talked to him about how it went. So we're on our way home here. It's just pretty late, so we're gonna be heading for bed and continuing later, or tomorrow. So we're gonna head back to the farm here and call it quits. I think Johnny ran into town quick. Had to do some banking. So he did that. Just pull into the farm here. Call it good for the night, and then we'll see you guys probably in the morning here. Let's get inside. Might watch a movie with Johnny. We've been wanting to see the Avengers Ed game, so we might watch that on Netflix. I'm gonna actually call Johnny and see where he's at. Hello? Hello. Hey, where are you at? Just pulling into the yard. Okay. I wanted to talk to you about maybe doing a, uh, I saw a really, uh, a tractor that would be kind of in our price range at the store. I kind of wanted to talk to you about maybe demoing it tomorrow or something like that to see if we could get it. Yeah, did you see, uh, they were closed when you were going there, I was guessing? I'm guessing. Yeah, I just drove by it on the way home. I'll talk to you in the movie theater room. I just the door's a little bit I'm too close to the mower. I, can't, I have to crawl out the window, and I don't want to do that. And I struck, so I'm just gonna back out. Back up. Where's your truck at, Johnny? It's back here. Am I able to get around it? I think I should be you able. Can to. See the light. So, Johnny, what are you thinking about what's the tractor we're looking at? Well, I saw a 2008 Case 335 all dueled up with weights, full weights on the front and then um, wheel weights in the back. I thought, that, well, that could be a pretty nice tractor, you know, mm -hmm. for, 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 replace the 2 plus 2 or something like that. Yeah, that'd be nice, plus it would be a little cheaper than a deer, and it's a pretty good tractor, so I think I that'd be something to try. Down. I looked on Tractor House, it had 4,500 hours, and it was priced at 98000 it was priced for. Mm, that's pretty good, actually. Maybe if we f get a good price during this winter, if we get a good demand at the local co-op, maybe we can get a good price and maybe afford that. Maybe. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to call and see if we can maybe, maybe I could run it on our, our Ripper for a while and see what see what I think of it. You can run mm -hmm. it too and see what you think of it. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're gonna watch this movie here and we'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, so we got a movie, nice movie. Endgame's a pretty good movie actually. You got, How'd you like it, Johnny? It was alright. Probably in my top ten. Oh, nice. So, you called the dealer and they said that we could, we could borrow that, right? Yeah, for the day that we can run it. Yeah. Do whatever we want with it. So I'm going to go pick it up. I'll take my truck up there and I'll grab it and I'll go start ripping that field right away. Hey, before um, you do I that, can you help me lift this pressure washer down? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna turn on the, use the E tailgate on this. But wait a minute. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna just hop up in the bed here and help push it out. If you want to pull it there a little bit. Okay. Go down there and I'll carefully ro let it down to you. Okay. You got it? Yep. I'll put Stay it right down here. Gently. There, that's good. 
Thank you. Now I can yep. wash up some stuff. The pickups, because they're kind of messy. I'm about to your way. I'm just... gonna go get that tractor. I think the beans will go this morning, so. Okay, we'll go later in the afternoon to grab it. The... Actually, do you want to take the... Ah, we'll leave the red dot here. Get the pressure washer on. I'm just gonna spray down the Chevy. Do you want... Is there any dirt on your truck? I don't think so. Yeah, get over. I'm gonna hit your truck from here. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Yep. Alright, so we're just gonna spray these trucks down quick. I'm gonna grab my truck here. I'm gonna pull the suburban out of the garage and then I'm gonna get started on the straw again. I'll probably do another drone time lapse. So it seems to be the best way to get the footage through in the best way that we can. Just pull ahead a little bit and back up to that. Stop there. Are you there on the CB? Yeah, I read you loud and clear. Um, if you want, because I think the beans are gonna go before the corn this morning, you could switch the combine over and get the uh, bean header on it, switch all the stuff over on it if you want. Okay, you think, yeah, we could do that. There's that straw to do, but um, I think the bailer just needs more twine, so I should. Can you actually well, grab some twine while you're in town? Yes, I can. Thank you. But I think the bales won't go this morning because we had a pretty heavy dew last night. Yeah, so we'll do the harvest, because the beans should have stayed pretty dry, because they're all shelled. Alright, so I'm going to switch everything over off camera, because it's a pretty complicated and kind of boring process. So I'll see you guys when I finish swapping this over to beans. Alright, so I got everything switched over to beans, I did all the monitor programming and all that good stuff. I got the all the hydraulics and stuff hooked up, and Johnny C beat me, and oh there he is, on the... He has the case, it looks like. It's looking good so far. Let's see, he's gonna pull in here. Wow, that's good looking. I'll get the door for him. Hey, Johnny, you there on the walkie talkie? Yep. I'll get the door for you and hook you up. Alright. Cool. This thing sure does bark with the straight pipe, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think those come factory with those. I don't think. No, the I'm previous owner put it on here. Mm. I think is, is what the dealer guy said. Okay, a little more. I gotta, get, I gotta get over a little. A little more. Easy. A little more. Hold it there. Oh, too far. Too far. A little more. Good. You're good. Hold on, let me get out of here. There we go. Alright, you're good. Hey Johnny, there on the walkie talkie. Can I come look at the interior quick for the viewers? Sure. Let's take a look at this. Looks good. This doesn't have GPS, does it? Ah, uh, this one, this one has an aftermarket GPS system. It's oh. all right on the wheel. Oh, I see. It's like the 8400s. I see. Yeah, there is a little thing. All right, I'm gonna let you get to that. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go grab the drone and some drone batteries, and I'm gonna go uh, time lapse while I harvest the soybeans. Okay. So I'm gonna grab the drone batteries from in the house quick. I'm gonna grab the batteries here uh, up here. Good. And we're gonna do a little time lapse here of the combine out in the field. All right. So. All right. So I just ran a few beans through, and on the monitors, it didn't look like they were quite dry enough yet. So we're going to let that be for a little bit. So what I've been wanting to do for a while is I've wanted to bush hog the cow pasture so that when we get cows it's less overgrown because right now it's pretty tall and thick and that's just going to be a 
hard for the cows to walk through. So we might just knock this down a little bit with the brush hog and just try to get that broken down a little bit so that it's easier for when we get cows. So I'm going to go grab the 1206 here. And by the way, Johnny, the dealer called and they forgot to mention to you that the demo was only a three hour deal because they had another booking for that one. But they said if we want to try another tractor, they have a two, 285, I think they said, or a 235 there. Okay, so I've got, I have 2.9 hours on a tractor that I put on, so I'm going to bring this into the yard and unhook it and go get that other tractor then. Okay. Should I wash the tires off of it, or you think it'll be alright? I think they said like, somebody else is going to use it, so we might as well just let it be. Okay. It's not like we were taking it through a ton of mud. Right, yeah. It is a little greasy on top, but otherwise it's pretty good. It's working up nice out here. Mm-hmm. So, Johnny, I'm gonna just bush hog the cow area so that it's ready for when we get cows. Okay. Just break some of that tall stuff down that we've been wanting to get broken down. Right there, that's hooked up. Should be good. Lift it up. And I'll probably grab the drone here. Still have some charge left in it because we didn't get the combining done. So, I'll just use the drone for filming this while we do this, this brush hogging. So, enjoy this little time lapse.
so we just finished our lunch here, and we're kind of coming up with the game plan for the rest of the afternoon here. So, Johnny, what are your thoughts on what we should do? We have bales to make, and we have cultivating to do. What should we do, do you think? Well, I think that I should go finish ripping or cultivating or disking, however you want to say it, on that other field, and you can go bale the neighbor's field there. Mm -hmm. And then once I'm done, I can start hauling off of that field until you're done bailing, and then we can haul together. Yeah, that can work good. And if we have to, we can run... We could just bring two, the truck with the flatbed and then the bale carrier, and just use the bale carrier primarily, but then if we one of us is waiting, then we'll just use the flatbed. Yeah, exactly. All right. Do that. that sounds like a good plan. I'll go do the bailing here. I'm going to go grab some drone batteries quick out of the office. Do you want anything to drink for in your tractor? I can throw it in there for you since I'm walking right by. Yeah, grab a... Just grab some bottled water. That'll do. Okay. Grab the batteries here. I wanted a Gatorade. Okay. Let's see. I think we're good. Alright, so I'm going to go get the 49 running here, and I'll see you guys out there in the field. Alright, so we're here at the field, and I'm going to get the drone out here quick. And yeah, the, we've done six passes in the previous farm vlog, but we still have quite a few more to go. We have at least probably, I guess, 15 more rows. So it's going to be a lot of time lapses here in this episode, but it's the best way that we can get all this stuff done here in one video for you guys so it's not too long. So we're going to get started here on this field and do a little time lapse. You want to use the 14, Johnny? I can if you want to run the gator. It don't matter to me. I was just going to put this bale on there quick. This winter, we really need to buy a skid loader. Oh, you hit, the, you hit it a bit. I see that. There you go. Yeah, this bale cart's pretty nice. Actually, this was a good deal. We got it for around 1500 bucks. Would you strap those two front bales on there so that they don't fall off? Yeah. Try and load the next one. It gets up oh, it doesn't have strapping outside. points on it, Johnny. There's no strapping spots, I don't think. Uh, yeah, there is. Let me show you. See, right here. Right here. Uh, oh. Oh. Hooks are on the front. Alright. Yep. Oh, I can pull it. Hey, Johnny, they're on the CB. Well, it's walkie talkie for this, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's working. This can pull it somehow. See, the, the goal here is 
is to get right in front of me so I can just drive ahead and blow it. Yep. If that's what your job is. Yep. Uh, we haven't uh, used a system like this really much before. This is a new thing this year. When we got that round baler. I'm gonna stack them too high once we get the chance. Okay. So I'm just let that one on the strap. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse for you guys while we're doing this loading. I know it's gonna be a lot of aerial time lapses in this, but it's just it helps us get these episodes to be a bit shorter for you guys so that you don't have to watch for so long. Alright, enjoy the time lapse.
we finished the bales off camera just so we could get done and Johnny was being a bit of a show off so he decided to do a four layer load so I'm not sure if this is exactly going to fit into the shop because we're going to just leave these on the trailer we decided until the harvest is over and then we'll just finish them unloading them when the time comes and when we really need the flat deck but what we're going to do is bring this back it might be a bit sketchy on the road and there's Johnny over there so we're going to hop in the ram here and head on back to the yard. Got to be careful. Make sure all the trailer brakes and stuff work. Oh. Here we go. So we're going to head over to the yard here. And we're going to put find a spa space in the shop to put this in. Don't put it in the shop. Put it in the other side. That's what I meant. I'm just referring to the shop as in like the big building or big sh shed. Oh, the trailer brakes are struggling, Johnny. Are you there on the CB? Uh huh. I'm just getting these last two bales. Trailer brakes are not working well with this load. I'm sure not. Stodge is doing good though. I think those uh, tunes we did might have helped out a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna pull up to the farm here. Gotta be careful with this heavy, heavy load. Put on our signal here ahead of time. Thankfully, there's not much traffic today, so we should be okay. We're gonna turn in here. Gotta go extra wide. Make sure we don't hit on that side. Should be good. Johnny's back there with his gator. He brought that back. And then we're going to go back and get the 1206 and the 4020 off camera. But we're going to probably end this farm vlog here because it's been a pretty long one and we've gotten a lot done. So we want to probably end this one here. Once we get all this, this truck and trailer put away, we're going to call it an end of the video. Johnny there on the CB. Am I going to clear this? I don't know if I am. It's close. I'll go look. Let me climb the bales up there. Hold on a second. It's going to be tight. Okay. Start going. Keep going. Alright, we made it by here. So I'm going to put this... Probably on this wall by the log, the bale grab. Let's see, make sure I don't hit that post. Gotta move our wheelbarrow out of the way. Just put it off to the side over here by the seed where we use it a lot. Hey John, are you there on the CB? Or walkie talkie? Go ahead. Do you are you walking over to the field to grab the forty twenty back? I know you brought the gator and the fourteen. Are you bringing the forty twenty back too, or do you want to ride? Uh, I can walk over there. Okay. I'm just gonna. Do you want the bale trailer? Uh, you can put it in the that shed that we have the the dual the sliding shed, sliding okay. door shed. I'm gonna end the farm vlog after this because we've done a lot here. Like I said, I'm just gonna put this trailer away this corner. I want it nicely on the wall. Go a little more that way. Let's see. I'm gonna call this good right about there. Yeah, that's good. Alright, we got the bales here. And drop the goose snack. Should be good. So thanks everybody for watching this farm vlog. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or compliments about the farm vlog, be sure to leave a comment in the comments area down below. And yeah guys, until the next farm vlog, I will see you all later. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching.